Long ago, when the world was good and all was at peace, the gods and men lived together in harmony. In the river valley lived a tribe whose chief had brought vitality and success to his people. His soul was in the right place, but he often came across as an arrogant, foolhardy man. Believing he was infallible, Chief Grey Wolf compared his people to the gods. One day, Mahakanao, the god of prosperity, came across the tribe of this false deity. In the fading dusk, he came to the chief and asked, Can you spare some shelter for a dull, downhearted man? No. Why would I begin to waste my success on you? With that, Mahakanawa left the chief for the woods. Three days later, he returned disguised as the same wanderer. Again, he questioned. Can you spare some shelter for a dull, downhearted man? I told you once. My answer has not changed. Leave. Once again, Mahakanawa left the chief. Three days later, he came back again and asked, Can you spare some shelter for a dull, downhearted man? Go away, beggar. As he exited the camp, Ahakanawa cursed Chief Grey Wolf and his tribe to a life of famine. In the days that followed, the wolf wandered around the tribe. And now I then tried the chief's daughter. Your father has strayed away from the teachings of his people. Tell him that I wish to show him the right path. Seeing that his attempts to get to the chief through his daughter had not worked, Mahakanao decided it was time to steal the chief's headdress, his most prized possession. Once the chief realized that his headdress was gone, he remembered the wolf that had wandered around the camp earlier, that, earlier in the days. He decided to head out in the woods and retrieve his most prized possession. Out in the clearing, he met the wolf face to face, and the wolf turned into Mahakanawa. <laughs> Disregarding what the god looked like, or what the god was, the chief only cared about his one most prized possession in the whole world. Give his me headdress. my headdress. I just want to talk. Give me my headdress. Following this confrontation, the largest epic battle of our times ensued. It was the headdress versus the morals that our people had been raised on for years. The fight lasted three days and three nights. Mahakanawa cursed the chief for the rest of his life, and now, ever since the chief had been turned into the wolf, the wolf always hunts, and always is angry, wanting to get back at the people he once ever had control of. Will we ever understand what drives a person's ego, what drives someone to want to rule other people, and never live in harmony, and always think they're better? Is it impossible to live together? Or we will never know, because we will never have the chance.